Good day, SAS Nation. And today we bring you our pick for the 2005 NCAA Dynasty Mode team. And to maybe a surprise, maybe not just a surprise, our team we have chosen to follow for our one team throughout this Dynasty Mode will be Penn State. Looking back at Penn State, kind of close to home, it's like, okay, you know, we'll go with them. Play up in Happy Valley for a few games. Should be fun, right? So we have chosen Penn State to start and play through in our dynasty mode to see how this alternate football universe turns out. And surprisingly, with that alternate football universe, we'll be taking over from Joe Paterno, who was the coach back then at the time. So here we are in our dynasty mode options. And as you can see on the cover for the preseason issue of Sports Illustrated, it's that time. Williams has USC fans excited about another national championship. So, they must be thinking USC will be repeating, right? Who knows? We will see. Speaking of repeats, let's take a look here at Sports Illustrated, right? Why not? Hopes renew. Fans in Los Angeles are excited about their 2004 Trojans. Why not be, right? They just came off of it. They're looking good. Everything's looking good. So why don't we jump into the polls and see who is where. And here's the preseason 119. And of course, who's on top? USC. Yep. Ranked number one coming into the start of this 2004 season. We got USC with an A, A minus, A plus on defense, and A plus special teams. So an A overall for them. So that's going to be a pretty good start. Next up, Oklahoma comes in second. They're ranked A plus overall, but still picking up that number two seed out of the Big 12. Out of the SEC, we got LSU at three. Georgia also out of the SEC at fourth. Miami rolling in fifth out of the ACC. Another ACC team, Florida State, sixth. Texas out of the Big 12 gets seventh. Ohio State out of the Big 10, a school we'll probably see much of us being Penn State in the Big Ten. So Ohio State at 8. Michigan also out of the Big Ten is at 9. So automatically two schools already in the top 10 out of our conference. Florida's got number 10 in the SEC. Tennessee also in the SEC number 11. Auburn SEC again. Whew, SEC is looking really good right now, huh? Out of 12th. ACC you got Virginia coming in 13th. Kansas State in the Big 12 coming in 14th to start the season. Clemson out of the ACC in 15th. Iowa, Big 10 coming in 16th. Another Big 12 team in Nebraska coming in 17th. Louisville coming out of the conference. USA picks up 18th. Another oh, Big East team, West Virginia, number 19th coming in 20th out of the ACC, NC State. Another Big Ten school is Minnesota, 21st. Wisconsin, another Big Ten, coming in 22nd. Ooh, we got quite a few Big Tens, I feel like, in that top 25. Cal, there at the Pac-10, 23rd. You got Maryland in 24th. And Utah, rounding out the 25th. Now, with this being the preseason 119, all schools are ranked. Let's see how long it takes to get to us, shall we? Very interesting. Purdue and the Big Ten just missed it as they are 26. Virginia Tech. We got Missouri. South Carolina. TCU. Okay, so we're not in the top 30. Southern Miss coming in 31st. Oregon 32nd. Toledo. Okay, interesting. Toledo at 33rd. Oklahoma State, 34th. Georgia Tech, 35th. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Oregon State, 36th. Alabama coming in 37th. This is not looking good. Not looking good. Notre Dame, surprisingly, coming in 38th. I don't know. 2004 Notre Dame. Who was that? Brady Quinn. Can't remember if they were good or not. I'm assuming they're decent. I mean, they're 38 out of 119. Miami of Ohio, okay, there's a surprise to me. 39th, Miami of Ohio. 
I mean, they're a C plus overall. Offense at a B minus, C plus for defense, and a B for special teams. But hey, they're ranked 39th overall. They're ranked higher than us. Can we make the top 40? No, as Boston College gets 40th. 41st, we've got Michigan State. All right. Arizona State in 42nd. 43rd, Washington State. Oh, man. Can we be in the top 45? Texas A&M. And 45th, Wake Forest. No, we're not in the top 45. Woo! Woo! Could we be bad? Maybe that's why Penn State went 4-7 in 2004 in real life. Who knows? Anyways, come on, come on. Let's be in the top 50, please. All right. There we are. We're 46. B plus, B plus, B plus, B plus. Okay. I'll take it. We're 46 overall. Let's run out the top 50. Why not? Who's got 47? Memphis? Colorado is at 48th. 49th is Texas Tech. And who has that lucky number 50? UCLA. The UCLA Bruins. Who are B plus, B plus, B, and A? All right. So that's going to give us our top 50 there in the 119 preseason poll. So we're not going to go through every school. No big deal to see who is. We'll see how it plays out by the end of the year. So remember this, folks. That's your top 50. We'll see what happens. On to our Heisman. Who's favorite here? Is he the best? UC at USC's junior quarterback, Leinart, is the early favorite to win 2004 Heisman. So let's take a look. Who we got? Matt Leinart out of USC. Darren Sproles out of Kansas State, running back. Another quarterback out of Oklahoma, Jason White. Another quarterback, Brad Smith out of Missouri. And another running back out of Auburn, Carnell Williams. Those are the top five, I guess, preseason favorites coming to that. Let's see, what does it say anything about him? No. Nothing at all. He's 97 overall, though. Dang. Okay, but yeah, so it doesn't really show previous stats. Okay, yep, 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 nothing wrong with that. Da -da -da -da, preseason All-Americans, the next crop. This Virginia, the Virginia Star is looking forward to 2004. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to really look at that. Conference Outlook, let's just see what they say. Because I'm pretty sure the Conference Outlook is just the conference is rated from what we just saw in the polls. So, USC is the pick to win 2004 in the Pac-10. Let the games begin. Toughest places to play, though. Alright, let's see. Hostile environment. No one wants a piece of Florida when they're playing at home. Let's see what we got here. So, this will be interesting to see. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium for Florida. Neyland Stadium for Tennessee. Ohio Stadium. Alright, we'll see that quite often. For Ohio State. LS, uh, Tiger Stadium for LSU. Otson Stadium for Oregon, Husky Stadium for Washington, Kyle Field for who's that? Texas A&M, quote unquote the 12th man. Camp Randall Stadium for Wisconsin. Yeah, I guess we'll see that. That's number eight. Woo. Memorial Stadium for Nebraska. The Sea Red. Stanford Stadium number ten. Sanford, my bad. Sanford for Georgia. Kinnick Stadium, Iowa City. So that's Iowa. We got Michigan, the Big House. Michigan, the Big House, number 12 place. Play at Lane Stadium for Virginia Tech. Doak Campbell Stadium for FSU. Notre Dame is 15th. Okay. Clemson coming in 16th at Clemson Memorial. There we are in Beaver. Happy Valley. PSU. All right. We got the 17th toughest place to play. Average attendance 105. 629. That's a decent crowd. Just underneath the big house. Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. OU. That gives Oklahoma. We got Auburn coming in 19th. Carrier Dome, that's Syracuse. The Loud House, as they call it, number 20. Alabama gets 21st. Kansas State, 22nd. West Virginia picking up 23rd. Toughest place to play. 24th will be Washington State. Who gets that last one right now? Miami Stadium, Miami. So Miami picking up the 25th toughest place to play. Out of the top 25. Oh, that will be interesting. Very interesting to see how 2004 wraps up. Like I said, the preseason options, I was taking a look at the schedule, and this lines up exactly as what I looked up. So this is the exact 2004 Penn State schedule, so it'll be interesting to see if we can do better. Hopefully not worse than what they did from my research. Penn State went 4-7 and seven this year. 
They opened up with a win against Akron. They lost to BC and a win against USC. UCF. Wow, yeah, USC. Mm -hmm. UCF, so they went 2-1 and one in the non-conference game. And then from research, looking at the locked schedule here, which I guess is the conference schedule, they lost to Wisconsin, lost to Minnesota, lost to Purdue, lost to Iowa, lost to Ohio State, and lost to Northwestern. Six straight loses. But then they beat Indiana and Michigan State to pick, pick up their 4-7 and seven record. So if you think about it, they what, had two conference wins and two non-conference wins for their four wins. And yeah, six conference losses. So hopefully we can do better than what they did in real life. But this is an alternate verse. Maybe we'll do better. Maybe we'll do worse. Maybe we'll do exactly the same. Who knows? As of right now, as you can see, I mean, look at weeks five through ten. Number 22, number 21. Purdue, who we saw was what? Number 26. Iowa, number 16. Ohio State, number 8. Like, oh, and it's at Ohio State. And at Wisconsin and at Minnesota. None of these are going to be easy places to play. Yes, Purdue comes to town. So that'll help us out when at least playing them. And then we're home from Northwestern and Michigan State. Then we travel to Indiana. But, whoo, uh, Michigan State. So we do not play Michigan this year. Who are we missing? And we don't play Illinois. So out of the Big Ten, we don't play Illinois and we don't play Michigan. But it looks like we see everybody else from that conference. Obviously not us. But that's what it's looking like. So 2004 will hopefully take a run and we'll play well. Maybe make a bowl. Maybe finish well within the conference. But it's looking pretty tough already. As you can see, it's A rating as a strength of schedule. So this is what we're going to be. We're going to play Penn State. Week 1 will be coming up shortly as we won't be playing Week 1. So our first game will be Week 2 against Akron in Happy Valley. So that should be exciting. I look forward to seeing you guys for our first game of the year against Akron here shortly. And uh, yeah, hopefully this 2004 season will go strong really well. And we'll see how everyone shows up. We'll see how that Heisman tr battle turns out. And at the end of the year, we'll see if we get a bowl game. And we'll see who goes well. So that's our sneak peek there as we're going to be Penn State in our dynasty. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all against Akron in Happy Valley here at week two coming up. Assassination. Have a good day. Peace out. See you next time.